in this video uh, we will discuss some problems related to digital electronics which were previously asked in the gate examination so first problem uh, what are the minimum number of a uh, 2 is to 1 multiplexers required to generate a two input and gate and a two input xor gate okay so in this problem uh, okay Uh, we are going to design a two input and gate using two is one multiplexer. Okay, so first we'll start with uh, the truth table for and gate. So the truth table for the and gate is truth table for the and gate is is A, B, and Output A B are the inputs and Y is the output zero 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 one one zero and one one. Yeah. So the outputs are zero 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 and one. Okay, when all the inputs are high, the output is high. This is a two table for the AND gate. So now with respect to this, we are going to Uh, design a two is to one multiplexer. Okay, so now we'll take a two is to one multiplexer. A two is to one multiplexer has two inputs, one output, and one selection line. So as this is here, I not again input I one, output Y, and selection line. So here uh, we will take one input as selection line. Okay, we will take out of this. We will take one input as selection line. So now, whenever a is equal to zero, okay, whenever a is equal to zero, okay, what is your output? Y is equal to what? So when a equal to zero, we will take this two. A is equal to zero. When a is taken as zero, so now what is the condition of y? See, so y if you see, y is equal to zero. Okay, y is equal to Zero. Okay. Similarly, similarly, whenever a is equal to one, when a is equal to one, okay. So what is here? Y. It is zero. It's equal to so y is equal to b. Zero here. So here also it is zero. One here also it is one. So y is equal to b. So this is the condition. Okay, so now here for the selection line, I have taken A. Selection, I have taken selection line as A. So when A is equal to zero, okay, when A equal to zero, what happens? I not is selected. So what is your I not condition? So I not should be when A equal to zero, I not this that is, this should be equal to zero. Okay, so this is equal to zero. That means this is wrong. So when a is equal to one, i one will be selected, uh, which should be equal to b. Okay, should be equal to c. Okay, now so this is what an implementation of uh, two is to one mark for the and gate. Got okay. it. So now next we'll do the same for the XR. So now for the XR, two table. Similarly, A, B, and output Y. Zero zero, zero one, one zero, and one one. Okay. So now, so the two table of XR is zero, 
वन वन जे ओके तो सिमिलरली टेकन टू इस वन टेकन टू इस वन So now we will take one of the input variable. We will take one of the input variable constant. So now, whenever a is equal to zero, so this is zero. So whenever a is equal to zero, see y is equal to b, zero 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 to one one. So y is equal to B. Okay. So whenever a is equal to one, okay. Whenever a is equal to one, so what is your output condition? One is zero. Zero is one. That is the relation between y and b is inverse. So y is equal to b dash. Okay. So now we can discuss a. Okay. So When a is equal to zero, i not will be selected, so which is which will be equal to b. Okay. So now, and similarly, when a equal to one, i not will be i one will be selected, which will be equal to b dash. Okay. So this is your twist one implementation, but you don't have in a very a variable b dash. So in order to implement that b dash, you need an not get for that. Okay. So in order to implement it. A B dash you need a not gate for that. Okay, so for the not gate, B, I, so zero means one, one means that is zero. Okay, so now we take n. Okay, we take n. Another. Twist one multiplexer. So now, okay, we selection this as B. So when B is equal to zero, I not will be selected. Okay, I not will be selected. So now, okay, so this will be so when B is equal to zero, it should be equal to one. Okay, when B equal to zero, Y should be equal to one. And b equal to one, it should be equal to zero. That means it's one. Okay. So this is not it. So now what happens? So this is the b dash. Okay. So now we we'll get b dash output. Okay. So which is connected to okay? So this is one question. So now this is the okay. So now this is your implementation of a two is to one mux for an two input XOR gate, which requires two two is to one mux. Okay. So what is the question? What are the minimum number of two is to one mux? So now we have uh, so now for the AND gate, it, you need only one. Okay. So you need Only one mux, one two is to one mux. Okay, and for the XOR you need two mux. So check for the answer. One and two, one and two. So A is your correct option. A is your correct option. Now we we'll move to the next question. So now, in the second question, uh, it is given as uh, the Boolean function realized by the logic circuit shown is. Okay. So now, we are going to find what is the Boolean function realized by the given four to one multiplexer. Okay. So now, in general, we know that. In general, we know that. Y output Y is equal to okay. So the selection line here is A and B. Okay. So it is nothing but 
a dash b dash into i naught plus a dash b into i one plus a b dash into i two and a b into i four. So this is the general expression for an four is to one multiplier. Now, so we'll implement the input. So a dash b dash. What is the value of i naught from the given diagram? So i naught here is it is c. Okay, i naught here is c plus a dash b into a dash b into i one value here is i one value here is d. A B dash into what is your I two value? I two value is nothing but C here is C dash. So this C dash. Plus A B into I three. I three here is so this is. Here becomes the C dash. Here it is D dash. So C dash into D dash. C dash into D dash. So now what are you going to do? You're just going to multiply all the terms. So we'll have A dash B dash C plus A dash B D plus A B dash C dash plus A B C dash D dash. Okay. So now here we the given answer is in terms of the min term value. So now in order to find the min term values, you may have to convert this. Uh, given in the obtained expression into canonical SOP expression, so which will take uh, time. So what we'll do is we'll implement this using an K method. Now this is A, B, C, D. So zero 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 one 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 zero. Here again zero 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 one 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 and one zero. Okay. So now first we'll implement for A dash B dash C. So A dash B dash A dash B dash is this row. Okay. A dash B dash C. C means the first one. These two, the two columns. So that means you will have an, you will have an pair term like this. Okay, the so first row and the C means the first variable should be one. So one one. Next, A dash B D. A dash B. A dash B is this one. D. D is second variable. These two. So here we have two ones here. Next, A dash, sorry, A B dash is A B B dash C dash A B dash A and B dash and C dash. C dash is the first two. Okay, C dash. So here we have two ones. And finally, A B A B A B means this row. C dash D dash means here. Yeah. So we have plotted the uh, corresponding places of the min terms. So now what we will do is 
characterize the corresponding winter values as the function here. So therefore, f is equal to summation of m 0, 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, we don't have 5, 6, 7, 5 and 7, 5, 7, 8 and 9, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, these are the corresponding in term values. So, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9 and 12. So, the option is D. So, this is your correct option. We will move to the next question. So in the next question, the logic function implemented by the circuit below is. Okay, so you have to find what is the logic function implemented by this forest one multiplexer, uh, where ground implies a logic is zero. Okay. So this is a forest one multiplexer. So as we already know, the general expression for a forest one multiplexer, which we'll write here. So f is equal to okay and here the selection line is p and q so we will write this as p dash q dash into i naught plus p dash q into i1 plus P Q dash into I two plus P Q into I. So this is general expression for an first one multiplexer. So now we'll write the corresponding input values. So P dash Q dash into I naught value. So I naught value here is. Okay, so this is zero. Okay, ground it is zero. So here this should be one, and here this should be zero. Okay, this one. So that is here the value is zero. Plus p dash q into i one. So i one value here is this one appears here. Okay. So this is I1 value is 1 plus P Q dash. P Q dash is I2. I2 is that is also equal to 1. Finally, P Q. What is your I3 value? So I3 value is here. The three value is connected here. That is nothing but it is zero. So what happens? The zero term value. So now therefore your answer is P dash Q plus P Q dash. So, so we know the this equation is of the form of XR. Okay, XR. So this can be written as P XR. Okay. That's nothing but so this is equal to XR of P comma Q. That is your answer. So there are correct option is D. Okay. Go to the next question. Okay. 
So now in this question, it's given as consider the multiplexer based logic circuit shown in this figure. So here we have, here we have a two is to one multiplexer. Okay, two two is to one multiplexer. So which one of the following Boolean expression is realized by the circuit? Realized by the circuit. So first we will consider the first multiplexer. Okay. So we will consider this output as yes. Okay. So we will consider this first one. So we are the expression for the two is first to two is one multiplexer can be written as x x is equal to the structure name is x1. So when x1 dash here input is zero. I not will be selected. It is nothing but W. Plus S1. Okay. I1 will be selected, which is nothing but W dash. So it can be further written as S1 dash into W plus s1 w dash this is nothing but s1 x r w so this is your okay output at this okay so now we will move to the second multiplex the second multiplexer is output is yes okay yes so therefore f is equal to uh, the selection line is S2 here. So S2 dash into S2 dash into. So what is your uh, first? So the first I not will be selected. I not here is X. I not here is X plus S2 into I1 here is X dash. Okay, X here it will be X dash. It is X dash. So which can be further than as S2 dash into X2 dash into X plus X2 into X dash. So which is same of the above XR. So S2 XR Okay, where okay, where x is nothing but right? so which can be written as s two x r s one x r w. So the correct option is. So this is the correct option. So we'll move to the next question. So now, uh, uh, in the circuit shown, W and Y are the MSDs of the control input. W and Y. These are the MSVs of the control input. Uh, the output F is given by. So here you have two four is one marks. So here you have to find what is your uh, Boolean expression for the given logic diagram. Okay. So similarly, uh, we will solve like in the previous topic. Okay. So first, I will take the first four is one mark. So I will take. So Q is equal to Q is equal to W dash okay. Q is equal to W dash X dash into I naught. This is general expression, okay. Plus W dash X into I one. 
W X dash into I2 plus W X into I3. Okay. So now we will write the corresponding input value. W dash X dash into what is the value of I naught? So uh, I will write this in the last. U X dash plus W X. So now we'll write the corresponding into I naught value. So I naught value here is it is grounded, so it is zero. I one value is VCC. VCC means it is plus that is plus five one that is nothing but it is one. Okay, for I two also VCC it is one. And I3 is grounded, so that will be zero. So what happens here? So this gets cancelled, this gets become zero. Okay, so therefore it is equal to W dash X plus W X dash. So we'll keep it. We'll keep it. So now similarly, we move to the second. Multiplexer output is yes. Yeah. Okay, so now your selection line here is y and z. That's okay, so y dash z dash into i naught plus y dash z into i one. Plus y z dash into i two plus y z into i three. So now we will write the corresponding input values here for the y dash z dash. What is the value of i not here? So value of i not here is Plus y dash z into i1 value is also i1 value is also this q. Plus y z dash into y z dash into i2 value. I2 value here is Zero and I three value is also zero. It's ground. Okay. Zero here. Plus Y Z value is also zero. So what happens here? This becomes zero and this becomes zero. Therefore, your expression is y dash z dash into. So, what is the value of q here? Let's see. So, we will call the other last. No, I will multiply this. Plus y dash z. Q. So now, uh, what is the common terms here? So y dash q is common here. Both the right terms will take y dash q. So y dash q. So nothing but we have the dash plus dash. Okay. So z plus the dash is equal to one. So, which is equal to 
y dash into q okay so now y dash into q value is w dash k take it here okay w dash x plus w x dash is equal to w dash x y dash plus w x dash y dash this should be a final answer which matches with w dash x y dash w dash x y dash and w x dash y dash w x dash y dash t is your right option Let's move to the next question. So here in this problem, we have an eight is to one multiplier. Yeah, it's very simple here. So for the eight is to one multiplier, expression can be written as y is equal to a dash b dash P dash, okay, zero zero zero, okay, into I naught plus A dash B dash C. So I one. So this is general expression. Okay, plus. A dash B C dash into I two plus A dash into B C into I two. A B dash C dash into A four plus A B dash C into A five plus A B A dash into I six plus A B C into I seven. So this is the general expression for an eight is to one multiplexer. Okay, eight is to one multiplexer. So now we we'll insert the input value. The I not I not here is zero. We put it here zero. At all, you zero here. I one value is B here. I two value is zero. I three value is D. I four value is zero. I five value is also zero. I six is one, and I seven is zero. Okay. So now zero terms will lead up. Yes. This, this, this. So now we'll write the remaining value. This is a dash b dash c into p plus a dash b c. And B 
plus a b c dash right a b c dash so here see whether any terms are common so so you have only one two product terms here you have three so there should be any minimization should be there okay so now a dash c d okay a dash c d here also a dash c d so take those a dash c d common a dash c d is taken common which leaves b dash here and b here plus a b c dash therefore so b plus b dash is equal to 1 therefore the final answer is a dash c d plus a b c dash this should be the right answer final a dash c d a dash c d and a b c dash c is the correct option Okay, so we'll move to the next question. Okay. So here, similarly, we have solved already a similar problem to this. So we'll solve this problem. So first, we will write the output expression for an porous to one multiplexer, which can be written as F is equal to okay. F is equal to uh, here. Mm. Uh, the first will write for the first first one. So here selection line is U and B. So therefore, uh, I'll take this as F one, and I'll take this as F two. Or that is what F. Okay, I'll take this as F. Okay, first I'll write it for F one. Okay, so expression can be written as U dash V dash. Okay, U dash V dash into I naught. Plus U dash V into I one. U V dash into I two plus U V into I three. So now we write the corresponding input value. U dash V dash into what is the I not value here? I not value here is zero. Plus u dash v into i one value here is one. Plus u v dash into i two value here is that is also one. Plus u v into i three value here is zero. So what happens? Zero term. This two becomes zero. So which leaves the expression as u dash v plus u v dash u v dash. So now we we'll go to the second multiple. So therefore, the final f of u comma v comma w comma x is equal to. What is the function name? W and X. So W dash X dash into I naught. W dash X dash into I one. W dash 
Okay, so now we will insert the input values here. W dash x dash, your i naught value here is, it is f1. Plus W dash x into, what is the i n value? That is also is equal to f1. And I2, I3, both are equal to 0. So, plus 0, plus 0. Okay. So, therefore, the expression further can be further written as W dash X dash F1 plus W dash X F1. So, if any terms, check if any terms they have any common. So, if W dash and F1 is common here, so we will write W dash and F1 taking common, which means X dash plus F. Okay. So, X plus X dash is equal to 1. Okay. So, therefore, we will, which leaves W dash into F1, where F1 can be further written as W dash into uh, U dash V plus U V dash. So therefore, your final answer is W dash U dash V plus W dash U V dash. So which matches up with so, so we have this is uh, getting here. Yeah. So W dash into U V dash plus U dash V. C is here. So the answer is matching with the option C. So now we'll see one more problem. One more problem here. So similarly, uh, consider the circuit shown in the figure. So a two is to one max, two two is to one max are shown here. So you have to find the what is the corresponding Boolean expression in implemented by the circuit here. Okay. So here I'll put this as small a. Okay. So the output of the first multiplexer. So, F is written as, so your selection line here is X. So, X dash into I naught plus X into I1. So, X dash into I naught value here is Y. I1 value here is 0. So x dash y you have got. x is equal to x dash y. Okay, moving to the second multiplexer. Yes, capital F. That is equal to the selection line is z. So z dash into i naught plus z into i1. z dash into your i naught value here is f plus z into 
i1 value here is f dash f dash so here we'll write the value of if f here so that dash into f is f dash y plus z into x dash y the whole dash this dash okay so for that this can be done as so i'm multiplying here x dash y z dash plus z into so apply the divergence theorem here so x dash becomes x into becomes plus and y becomes y dash so multiply this x dash y z dash plus x z plus y dash z this is your answer for the output f which matches up with x dash y z dash x y x z y dash so x dash y z dash plus x z plus y dash z your answer matches with the option b this is your correct answer So we will end up our class with this problem. So we will discuss some more problems in the next.